Now let's begin part two, the main part of this lecture. We will introduce the network reference model and the standard protocols in each layer. First, a, let's look at what is the OSI reference model. Actually, the whole network includes a lot of different pieces. We cannot learn every detailed a, bit. Actually, we, we can divide them according to certain criteria. So according to what they are doing, the main functions, the whole network can be divided into several different layers. Each layer do one core function and the lower layer, for example, the physical layer interact with the real physical world. For example, they interact, they put zero and ones on the cable or on the wireless media. And the higher layer actually interact with users. So when we use applications, we need to send some message, receive some message. So that kind of function are done by the application layer. And then each layer provides certain service for the upper layer. And the upper layer's service actually rely on the lower layer's service. So that is the key model of the reference model of network layers. Actually, we can divide the whole network into seven layers according to OSI reference model, or we can divide that into TCP IP reference model, which only uh, include four layers. So actually, the in computer network or in the internet, people typically use TCP IP reference model. Uh, that is this five layer reference model. So the upper layer is the application layer. Application layer protocols defines the format of message, uh, which is used for the applications to transmit the information, the data into the network and receive the message from the internet. And the application layer will transmit or receive these messages. Uh, then we need the transport layer to transmit the message from from end to end. For example, uh, if here is the transmission computer, here is the receiving computer, the transport layer of the transmitter will receive a message from upper layer and then uh, add some header and then transmit down into the next layer. And the transport layer provides the end to end transmission. A, especially if we use TCP protocol, they will provide the reliable end-to-end -end transmission. And the transport layer, there is network layer. The transport layer only exists at the end, at the sending computer and the receiving computer. But instead, network layer uh, exists in both end, end system and uh, the routers in the network. So, and network layer provide the routing. They will select a best path for the data to be transmitted in the network. And each router's network layer actually uh, will receive some packet. And according to the destination, they will forward the packet to the correct next hub router. That is the function of network layer. And then below network layer, that is data link layer. You can think of the data link layer to provide the uh, one hop transmission. And then finally, the physical layer uh, translate the zero and ones into some physical signals. For example, they transmit into the uh, electromagnetic signal and uh, send them into the into the open air. Then there is a wireless media that is the wireless transmission. And through the physical layer, one node can transmit some data to the neighboring node. That is the uh, five layer model. Common TCP IP protocols include the following uh, typical protocol. For example, in application layer, uh, when we use the web browser, we need to use HTTP protocol to access the remote web server to download the web page. And if we want to transmit some file 
download or upload some file from the server, we need to use this FTP protocol. We also need to use this DNS protocol, which is the domain name server protocol to translate from the server's name to from the host name to the IP address. Also, we will have this DHCP uh, protocol to dynamically config the IP uh, to the host and routers. And for transport layer, there are only two typical uh, widely used protocols, the TCP protocol and UDP protocol. The difference between TCP and UDP are uh, the UDP only provide transmission, but they cannot uh, guarantee the performance. In contrast, TCP can provide the reliable data transfer from sender to receiver, meaning that uh, TCP can guarantee the sequence of each packet, and they can guarantee that there is no error in any, every packet. As for the network layer, all the network uh, devices need to run this IP protocol, internet protocol. This is the key of this TCP IP protocol stack or the internet. And above uh, IP protocol, there are two management protocol. Uh, one is the internet configuration message protocol, which will send the control message. And another one is the uh, internet group management protocol. They will manage the multicast groups. As for the data link layer, actually, there are a lot of different protocols. So for example, the Ethernet are used for the wired local area network. And for PPP, that is a point-to-point -point protocol that can be used in the end-to-end -end direct transmission. The last layer is the physical layer. For physical layer, we have much more uh, different protocols. For example, the L2.11, the L2.3, the satellite, the TV, and a lot of other protocols. So actually, all the protocols can be divided into two parts. One part is standard. The standard are the protocols which are published public, all the users, uh, all the developers need to follow this uh, protocol. That is called standard. And the other part is the proprietary protocol that is owned and developed by a certain company. Uh, they may not public this protocol mm -hmm. to, the, to the world. And only the company know the details of the protocol. That is the uh, proprietary protocol. A lot of protocols are standard protocol because uh, in that case, all the devices, all the uh, developers can follow the standard so that different devices can interact with each other. And the common protocol standard standardization organizations include the following three important organizations. One is the uh, IET, IETF, the Internet Engineering Task Force. A lot of protocols, for example, TCP, IP, uh, DNS, uh, DHCP, are all defined by this uh, task force. Another one is IEEE. IEEE defines the electronics and electric and computer science field uh, standard. Um, so the well-known IEEE L2.3 for the wired LAN and the L2.11 for the Wi-Fi are all defined by IEEE. Another one is this ISO, International Organization for Standardization. Uh, ISO defines not only the computer uh, engineering, the computer network protocols. They also define a, a lot of other standards. For example, the ISO network model are defined by this organization. 